Ugh, it's your call. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter.
He's dead. Not make things easier. We're paid regardless. Come on, then. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in the... 
gears, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead, his men. Are you in? Get. Rob no more, so. Listen, John. I. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is. I might be more cut out for this work than ranching. Ah. Or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just... Hey! You gotta pay for it. Ugh. You gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. Wish I get these dreams. thoughts. Yeah. That's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past. That ain't always been the case. Coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. Bring him and put him on a bed. Lord Jared in heaven, can get call me the out Undertaker of this. if he wants to. Hi, fellas. This is all I need. We brought in Shane what Finley. Well, in. what's left of him? Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame, I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. See a ride? <laughs> what in Pete's name have you been doing? Goodness. Excuse me, sir. You work here? 
No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools.
I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, though it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. Be careful on this ground. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. Go real easy here. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. So, what were you saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack, and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Features hope. 
They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Everyone find some cover! Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! Alright, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on! <laughs> Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith! Help! Help me! I Mr. see you! Over here, come on! Ah! Help! Help me! Mr. Devin! Where they got me? We gotta get the way! They climbed up in the trees!
these trees. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Can you hear us? Mr. Wayne! Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. Move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. We don't want to stay here. Let's go. Ago, he was chewing my ear off. You knew what he was getting into. Did he? It's good. Everyone knows. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Get us back to Beaches. This isn't right. We're never gonna get there at this pace. Those were the Skinner brothers? I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Damn it, John, where are you going? What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason. And bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folks don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! 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 Uh, 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 you useless sack of crap! 
crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Ooh. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. <laughs>